All right, welcome back. I uh, have an opportunity here where there's a trunked radio system uh, around, and I had some people asking about using the Air Spy that comes with the War Dragon uh, and looking at trunked radio systems. So, perfect opportunity. Uh, also, a chance to try out the uh, trunk recorder. Uh, I'm not going to really get into the weeds of configuring the talk groups and um, channel lists and things like that. There's, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there. I just wanted to show some things that uh, I just quickly did on a War Dragon I brought along with me that allows uh, trunk re uh, trunk recorder to uh, get up and running pretty quickly, uh, at bare minimum uh, configuration. So uh, as you can see, record calls from a trunk radio system P25. I think in this case, uh, the Air Spy uh, is going to be looking at a P25 Phase 2 network uh, that has uh, some unencrypted communications going on uh, I I did check uh, with let's see just to highlight this real quick uh, with SDR trunk I created a playlist really just a specific uh, center of frequency um, and if you do run uh, SDR trunk on the war dragon you have this opportunity to perform CPU calibrations like it talks about I'm just gonna skip that for a second and just jump over to playlist editor uh, not to get around all over the place here, but under channels, I threw in uh, just a quick test here on uh, 853.9125 using the Air Spy. And you can see that uh, let's see. Give it a second. There you go. So you can probably hear that. Uh, I just had to change uh, the where the audio is coming because I got the headset on but you can see uh, the power of the air spy here looking at that 10 <clears throat> make excuse me 10 megahertz wide and um, being able to track all of that so anyways that's with um, SDR trunk what I want to show here <clears throat> Patients here. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyways, that normally doesn't happen. Uh, always happens when you're recording, though. So, okay. Anyways, uh, let's see. So, trunk recorder. Uh, we can. This is really easy with uh, the War Dragon here, or just Dragon OS Focal X uh, in particular. Probably even on the the Pi build of uh, Dragon OS. Uh, I already let's see. I'll just do it again. Oop. And I have this uh, hooked up. The War Dragon hooked up to a, a monitor, uh, well TV actually. So let me just remove the trunk recorder. And you can obviously get clone this anywhere. Um, I'm just, <clears throat> oop, I'm just doing it uh, where I normally put the source of everything at. I'll get clone this down. Make sure I'm actually still talking into the headset while I'm recording this. And if we change into trunk recorder, sudo, depending on where you made the uh, directory, build, change directory, build, sudo, cmake. Uh, and that's about it, minus the, the make. Now, I won't bore you. I already did uh, run make. And once uh, 
that finished I had to do really nothing else uh, to to actually make it so just pretend it uh, finished and then sudo make install and you can give it a sudo ld config um, just in case I don't think you need that but anyways that'll build the uh, the trunk recorder that's really it uh, let me think what else And then in Home Dragon, I made a config.json here. Just kind of looking over some of the examples provided in the Trunk Recorder repository. Uh, I didn't really make a lot of adjustments other than I just changed to a center frequency of 854 megahertz, uh, up to 10 uh, 10 mega sample or 10 megahertz wide or 10 mega samples for whatever for the sample rate because uh, with the air spot you're looking at 2.5 and 10 I left the air gain some of the gains apply to the air spy some do not this particular one was kind of set up for the hacker F so I didn't change anything with the gains uh, left digital recorders to change the control channel to the control channel that worked for me in SDR trunk left P25 uh, took out the talk groups file right now because uh, I didn't have one built left the modulation QPSK and just put that file um, somewhere where uh, I would I could run trunk recorder and let's see I'll remove this sys one because uh, uh, what's what's pretty cool about this is it does the automatic recordings I, I've honestly never used this up until about two minutes ago of uh, trying this out before this uh, video <clears throat> so I feel like I'm missing something oh yeah you need sudo app install that's why I had to, this pulled up uh, I need one package that uh, oh, let's see yeah right here so for uh, socks was on here but I needed this to do the uh, conversions I guess in the recordings and so just make sure that you install that uh, FDK AAC package on the War Dragon or just Dragon OS Focal X in, in, in uh, general and then you should be fine uh, all I had to do was uh, at a very basic level uh, run trunk recorder within the same directory that the config.json file is at and let's see I think that is it um, you can probably you know obviously make some better um, adjustments there but you can see it finds the air spy uh, what else uh, ppm error error and there you go so it's decoding system site decoding systems uh, let's see what else um, yeah obviously this is a super basic level there's probably a lot more uh, to trunk recorder that I need to get up and be smart on especially this broadcast broadcast a fire upload open megahertz uploader I was briefly looking at those I just wanted to see at a local uh, on a war dragon do I get uh, some recordings here so I'm gonna give it a second I'm, I'm looking for that folder to be recreated <clears throat> let's see so starting a recording okay where is it uh, recording at oh there we go okay so so you see starting concluded stopping uh, made the directory 2024 4 and I get some files in there so let's see let me see Oop. Uh, so it's actually coming through my uh, headset here so oh, I'm sure you probably heard that Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and then 
and you can see it's just huh. so it's just gonna keep uh, running and making recorders I guess hence the name uh, trunk recorder pretty cool I know that was pretty quick uh, trying to think of anything else um, I, I mainly just wanted to highlight how easy it is to get a uh, trunk recorder up and going on Dragon OS Focal X um, again probably the Pi 64 version and in this case I'm doing it with the War Dragon because I know I have it paired with the Air Spy to get that 10 megahertz wide uh, let's see what else uh, the only other thing is I guess um, if you're watching this and you got a War Dragon one thing that uh, I was messing with is uh, cyber e uh, ether not to get off topic here but um, do me a favor and so if you if you go into your uh, home directory look in cache G streamer uh, you'll probably have this uh, registry x86 64 bin just remove that okay just trust me remove that and I'm gonna stop trunk recorder here real quick let it clean up remove that and what you can do is if you go in let's see and I've already note that I've already removed uh, what I'm telling you to to remove there if you go into cyber uh, user source cyber ether and you look under build you can run uh, you can run cyber ether and it's kind of hard to, to understand uh, to, to truly appreciate because I'm doing it all on one machine here but uh, let me see I was looking at some different things here cyber ether headless endpoint let's see let me do this one here Oop. <clears throat> so cyber ether has a headless uh, part here and uh, kind of ignore these frames for a second I'm not sure why it's like that but what I what I was kind of envisioning is um, the cyber ether could run I'm trying to think through this could run headless uh, on the let me see cyber ether build could run headless on the uh, war dragon so let me think could run headless and so this would be different than streaming the IQ data you're just using cyber ether headlessly I'm, on a war dragon okay so if I run this and then I was somewhere else say my laptop or something like that I could run cyber ether on it as long as I'm network you know connected to the war dragon and so open flow graph this remote instance uh, you can see it connected I'm streaming I'm just connecting at a local address so this this is all on the War Dragon itself, so it's not a real good representation of, uh, you know, exactly what I'm uh, talking about. But but you kind of get the idea here. And let's see, if I let me let me minimize that and do a full screen on this here. So now it's like I would be streaming the Cyber Ether uh, over, which apparently is pretty uh, efficient. Uh, and then doing all the uh, yeah yeah doing all the digital signal processing and everything on the the war dragon end uh, that you know that has the uh, the air spy and the compute uh, power behind it and then viewing it and kind of interacting with it um, on something else uh, who knows maybe at the point where if cyber ether is uh, uh, you know maybe built for Android or something like that I could then use a tablet less power and then stream over so uh, anyways the reason why I was saying to delete that uh, cache thing I was talking about uh, let's see as you see it'll get recreated here and for some reason without doing that it's gonna look like a plugin is missing if you try to do what I just did so okay uh, alright hopefully that was uh, helpful try out I encourage you to try out the trunk recorder and uh, I'm probably just gonna get that included by default in future builds of uh, Dragon OS 
and just have it uh, have it there and available and do uh, updates of it through uh, the uh, repo that I have the the PPA that I have set up okay all right thanks have a good one